This project is how to make a new frame slider for your motorcycle after crashing. While I don't recommend crashing, I do recommend having frame sliders as they will definitely protect the side of the motorcycle from getting damaged in a drop or slide. Even though this slider held up impressively well, as you can see, this one ended up getting pretty worn down from the slide and has quite a few stress cracks and some mushrooming on the shoulder from the impact. The first thing to do is press out the aluminum bushing from the plastic. I'm using a socket that partially fits in the bushing but doesn't slide completely through. Now we can notice that there's an internal shoulder that needs to be created as well. To start, I measured and cut a piece of white acetal and left myself plenty of extra length. Next, I drilled a hole large enough to let me use the boring tool from here on out. Cleaning the oxidation off the bushing at this point is important, so I fit the bushing based on its clean dimensions rather than the dirty dimensions. I decided to bore the larger diameter first, which was most of the depth of the slider. Repeated test fits ensured a tight tolerance to the final dimension. The smaller diameter at this point was easy to bore as I just had a small length of material to bore out. Once the two boring operations were completed, the required shoulder was automatically created and matches the original nicely. All that was needed to install the bushing was just to tap it in and let it go home.
I wanted to install the bushing at this point so the next facing cuts to bring it to the final length will end up exactly flush with the installed bushing. Since the shoulder was damaged on the old slider, I went to the frame to measure what the diameter of the new shoulder should be. This is simply a clearance for the frame tube when the slider is mounted. Since there wasn't a good way to grip the slider anymore for the finishing chamfer, I had to put the normal jaws back in and get creative with how to mount the slider in the chuck. Also, I don't know why I didn't think of a live center to begin with, but it was very useful to prevent the wobbles. I tried cleaning up the surface with some sandpaper, but I'm not sure if it was really any better or not, but at least the printing was removed.
All said and done, it looks like a pretty good representation of what the old slider once was. The last step is to clean up the mounting bolt and reinstall it on the bike. Hopefully I never need to use this again as once was plenty, but now it's at least more pleasing to look at. As always, I'll link to the materials and such I used in this project in the description. Thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it.